Welcome everyone back to the channel. Kyle here as always back with another video and today I'm going to review something that I get a lot of questions about. Uh, every week somebody reaches out to me. Um, Twitter I post my weekly purchases as some of you guys follow along and thank you for that. Uh, in those posts I always put uh, the NECA street scene diorama it's up in my office and all my new figures that I get loose, be it Marvel, Star Wars, wrestling, I put them on there and take a picture of them and move on. It's kind of a staging spot for me, I guess you would say. Um, but it's an awesome, awesome piece and everybody always says, where the heck did you get that? Where the heck did you get that? And I thought today I'd do just a quick little video on that NECA street scene diorama. So here it is, here's the box. As you can see here, very cool box. Uh, this was in hobby stores, I think, gosh, a year ago, a little over a year ago. It didn't last long. Uh, originally, I believe it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive with a little bit, little bit different paint, different colors to it. Um, and then they re-released it in limited quantities. And I've heard rumors there might be another release of this soon, uh, possibly to go along with the Turtles. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Now these are pretty hard to find and go for a pretty hefty piece. But here it is. You know, it's got, uh, on the back, it says, Create amazing scenes from your favorite movies, comic books, TV shows, and more with this huge street scene diorama, which is sized to work with most action figures from 6 to 9 inches tall. At over 2 feet wide and 18 inches tall and a foot deep, it's massive enough to display more than 30 figures at once. The three levels offer multiple display options, plus it has a clear window panels and full car color cardboard backdrop. Some assembly required. Um, like I said, I'm very pleased with this. I kind of bought this on a whim. You know, I don't do a lot of figure photography and stuff, but uh, I didn't want to pass it up. You know, that's the thing. If you're on the fence, pull the trigger if you can, because you might, if you want it later on down the road, it might cost you a pretty penny. And that would be the case with this one. But there's the box art. Now I don't display this part of it. You can, it comes with tabs to put it in. You can do a nighttime and a daytime scene. So there is the daytime, right there. And here is the nighttime. Um, it, it comes with these little plastic push pins and the holes, if you can see those there, that fit in the back. Uh, I I had it on at first, but I noticed it kind of separated after time. Uh, very nice, hard, you know, thick, glossy board on this. But uh, I think the weight, it's it's fairly heavy. I think the weight of it, uh, kind of lets it loosen after a while. So I don't display this on, but I do have it just in case I want to. Um, but let's get to the main portion. I'll bring it on and let you guys take a quick peek. Um, I would say it's pretty sturdy for the most part. Um, there's more fragile things out there, but there, it's a little fragile. Yeah, just be careful like anything. Be careful with what you're doing. Like I said, the window panes are pretty awesome that you can see through those. You can put figures behind there. I mean, you can get pretty creative with this thing. As you can see here. Look at, look at that. You know, the top, the top level, you can put figures up there. There's a lot of places to put figures. Like it said on the box, 30 plus figures this bad boy holds. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a scale. Here's a... NECA, arc, or not arcade, cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo. Stick him there. Oh, and then, how about this one? Cassius Ono, WWE Elite. Awesome figure. You know, he's stepping up to the challenge of the Red Hulk, Marvel Legend Red Hulk. And we also got Marvel Legend Walmart exclusive Captain America. Uh, this was a tough figure to find at first, and then it was really tough to get with good paint apps. There was a lot of sloppy paint on this one, but that's kind of a, a little bit of scale, I guess you could say. See how that scales out. You can see me peeking through the window, but highly recommend this. If this comes out, this is great for all kinds of figures, you know, wrestling figures, you want to do a street scene you know, an old school ECW outside street fight. Hey, go for it. Put this up there. Um, also really great for the Ninja Turtle lines. That's how I'll probably display it. I kind of have plans of my turtles to move to this as the centerpiece of their display. Haven't got that far yet. I'll get there soon though. Um, but very cool. Once again, it's the NECA street scene diorama. 
Uh, hard to get now, but keep your eyes peeled. Watch eBay. Set alerts. That's another eBay tip. Maybe one day I'll do a video on some eBay tips, but that's a big one is set your alerts for something you want. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully uh, some of you guys that were on the fence, maybe this uh, put you over the, the hump and maybe some of you guys just want to check it out. But either way, I appreciate everybody that's watching these videos. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as we always say. Um, subscriber base is growing huge. We've done a lot in two weeks since we've really started this channel two weeks ago. Uh, it's Easter Sunday as we speak. So uh, a lot of work's been done uh, by all of you guys watching the videos and some great comments and everything else. So until next time, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See ya.